My name is Mita, but sometimes I'm Mora. Mita plays with makeup and Mora is a hoarder. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mita, and if you are new to my channel, comment down below and say hello. Hi, and I will be sure to respond and welcome you to the family. I answer all my comments, or at least I try to, girl. <laughs> I'm out of breath, bitch. <laughs> that little swing from the door, that shit took a lot out of me. Guys, if you like my video, hit that like button. And if you don't like it, hit that dislike button. Doesn't matter. Engagement is engagement, guys. It helps me produce videos that you guys like. You feel me? You feel me. If you like my content on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification belly bell so you can get notified every time that I upload. Okay? <laughs> Let's get right into this video, guys. Okay, so... I know I wasn't going to upload today, today's Saturday, but Daniel went to his Nona's house, his grandma, and um, my husband is working, so I am here by myself, I have nothing to do, so I figure why not produce a nice little, you know, mini little video for you guys here on a Saturday, for those of you that are home like me and got nothing else to do, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so today guys, what I have chosen... I have bought these highlighters to review for you guys a long time ago. These are the Wet and Wild. What? 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 These are the Wet and Wild Hello Halo Mega Glow um, highlighters. These are the three, the four shades that I bought. Here's what they look like. Okay. Now the first shade is Rosy and Ready. The second one is Holographic, Halo Goodbye, and Gilded Glow. I love that these are glass, guys. You hear that? These are glass, Miss Thing. These are gloss. I love that. It, it feels like so luxurious. You know what I mean? So I'm loving that. If you guys are wondering what I have on my lips, this is a lip plumper. I got this in the beauty supply store. It's called Plump and Juicy, the Pucker Upper Lip Gloss Pinup Girl. And this is so beautiful so pretty i got one in uh this is the shade pinup girl and this is by the brand kiss new york for those of you who don't know they are an affordable brand and i usually find them at my local beauty supply store you can also go to their website i believe it's kiss <coughs> kissnewyork.com i'm not sure if they sell on their website or if they um like tell you exactly what stores you can find their products in so guys also I have the, oh girl, I almost broke my, my highlighter, girl. Next, I have this uh, Generation 2 4D Extension Visible Mascara Lash Power, girl. So let's get into this video, guys. First, I want to try this mascara. So I'm going to come up close. And I want to see what she's giving, girl. So what are you guys doing this today? Well, <laughs> this. <laughs> what are you guys doing today on this lovely Saturday? Mm. Oh, first let's curl our lashes, right? We're supposed to curl them first. All right, so we're gonna curl this puppy. Ah! I grabbed the bottom of my eye. I grabbed the bottom of my eye. <laughs> my eye. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can see this one's curled. I'm gonna curl this one. And there we go. We have them up. You see that? How nice that looks? Okay. Now, let's go in with this 40 mascara, girl. I'm scared. I'm scared. I hope it works, man. Okay. So, here's what the wand looks like. We're going to start at the ends. And just kind of... I can already visibly see, like, little fiber optic hairs coming from the wand onto my lashes. Kind of like an extensions. An extensions. What? So I can kind of see that. So I'm going to see. You see that, guys? How it has like that. It's like a, a hair almost. It's weird. So I'm going to go to the edges of my lashes. And I mean, I'm probably going to get this on my eye because I don't know how to put on mascara like a normal person. But just for the sake of this video, I want to see if this really works. So, so far, this is what we have here. This is what we have on a normal lash. So, I can already see a difference. So, 
I don't know guys I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use better than sex on my other eye better than sex mascara because I want to see if this really gives you know a difference so I'm gonna put some better than sex by Too Faced which is my normal mascara that I use and I'm gonna put this on this eye which I thinking is going on here I don't know Okay, I'm gonna look straight at the camera you guys comment down below and tell me which one looks better the one on my left which is your right or the one on your left this one is the 4d optic whatever mascara and this is the better than sex which one looks better guys I don't know I think the um, better than sex actually looks fuller and like I think they're both the same in length but I think the better than sex looks like fuller right Am I bugging? Girl, this fiber optic, whatever the hell, 4D is not giving me scandals, girl. Okay. So now, I'm going to try to do, like, what the directions say. It says to, like, put it here. And you got to, like, twirl it to make it longer. Let's see if that works. I, you gotta go like this. Girl, what a mess. I don't wanna do this no more. Oh my God, look at this. This is a scandal. Oh my God, I got mascara on my nose, girl. Ugh. Why is mascara so messy? Mascara's annoying. Oh my God. I got a big ass chunk. Oh my God. This thing is clumping like crazy. I got it on my nose again and it's all over a girl. This is not going to work for me. It's hard to turn my lower lash line because I have no, I have no eyelashes really on the bottom lash line. This is turning into a hot freaking mess. Here girl, I give this thing a two thumbs down. <laughs> two thumbs down i think honestly i think the better than sex mascara looks way better than this one this one makes it more fine as the as though the better than sex mascara makes this more full so as for this 4d mascara goodbye garbage um let's move into these highlights i want to see what these highlights are giving girl so we have the wet and wild mega glow hello halo liquid highlighter and this one is called rosy and ready and look at that shine, girl, girl. Me personally, guys, I'm gonna be real with y'all. The only, the only um reason I use liquid highlighter is for a base for my actual highlighter. So what I would do typically is like I would dot like this. Then I would take my finger or a beauty blender and just kind of blend that in like so. And that is pretty, girl. Yes, you see that glow. And what's good about this is that when you apply highlighter on top of it, girl, that highlighter is sticking all day long. For example, let me show you a sign. I'm going to take the Jeffree Star 24 Karat Skin Frost. And I'm going to go into this one right here, Legendary, which I think would match up great with this uh, highlighter. And now watch this. It is going to stick right on that highlight you see that how it intensifies it like it really intensified that highlighter like hello and you can even take the powder on your finger because i feel like that brush is not all that and you could just pat it on top of what you already put and this is good because it'll make your highlighter last all freaking day like yas girl yas next let's see what we got next and just for the record i'm gonna swatch these on my hand so let me swatch this one first that's what that one looks like and that one is called rosy and ready next we have gilted glow let's see what she's giving this thing Ooh, ooh, this is giving me J-Lo vibes. Check it, check it out. Oh my 
God, this thing. Are you gagging? Because I'm gagging right now. Gag. They came to play with the girls. Next is called holographic misting. Ooh. Hi, puppy. <laughs> Look at that. Halo one right here. Let me put a little more because I feel like it didn't come out that opaque. I want you guys to really see because the camera's not picking up that halo. Maybe it's too holographic for the camera. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it now. You see? I mean, it's not as opaque as those. You know what? I want to try this one on my face and see what it gives me. Let's see what scandals we get with this one. Because it's not giving a good swatch. You see what I'm saying? But maybe on the face is different. And these you got to kind of blend in just like you would blend in like a cream contour. Or the way you would blend in foundation is just how you blend this in. No different. got to make sure you blend this in because if not it's gonna look patchy as all hell girl so blend that shit in oh that looks pretty guys you see that it's subtle but it's gleaming it's really gleaming this is very beach very pool very mermaid yes i see you i see you boo next is halo goodbye and look they come with like a dofa applicator which is excellent girl Excelente. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's see. There we go. So these are the four highlighters. Honestly, I have to say the first two were most opaque. The other two, not so much. But the first two, if you see, are really opaque. This one is kind of opaque too. Yeah, this one's opaque. The halo one, I think after you blend it in, it looks gorgeous. But as far as the swatch, it didn't, it didn't give me very that misting. So these are what the swatches look like. I purchased these at CVS, guys. I'm not sure how much they were. I know they were not in the pricey range. They were cheap. Wet n Wild is a very affordable brand. So yeah, guys, I'm living. Who's living for these highlighters, Miss Thun? Look, look, look. <laughs> I'm a living, girl. Especially this halo right here, girl. Mmm. Mm -hmm. girl these are nice i'm gonna start using these girls as a base oh it'll blend right into the foundation it's been giving you that glow from within and out for the whole day you know what i'm saying <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> give me that glow for the whole day miss thing say hi to howard howard's just chilling there so guys that's really all i had for this video i miss Daniel so so much he left with his grandma like I said earlier and guys all I did literally was like clean his room comment down below if you're a mom and you miss your kids when they're gone <laughs> I miss my kids guys and it's so creepy oh my god come with me let guys, me show you after all I still have Julie right Julie I still have you and my crazy looking room okay guys so it's mad freaking creepy in this house guys this is the hallway house tour <laughs> this is the hallway then it's like nothing but like darkness over there and shit and my house is haunted guys i swear it is this is daniel's room oh so empty my baby's not here he's not here so i keep his light on though girl because i'll be shook i'll be playing this is the kitchen girl i'm shook over there oh my god guys I don't want to come over here. I hate it over here. It's so scary. It's so messy in my living room, guys. For those of you who don't know, I'm in the process of renovating. I'm moving from my bedroom to the living room, and I'm giving my bedroom to my daughter. So, oh my God, it's so dark over here. Let me turn on the light, girl. I'll be shook in this house. When I'm here by myself, girl, I'll be shook. I'll be shook if, like shook if. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Well guys, thank you for tuning in today. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. I know today wasn't much to show, but I hope you had fun with me like we always do. And I will see you on Monday. I won't upload Sunday, I promise. <laughs> Love you guys.
Bye. Mwah. Hey, you.